So AMD's Ryzen 5000 series Zen 3 desktop CPUs are less than a month from launch, and as per this leaked slide, they are designed to offer great memory overclocking support. In a slide published over at Technopad, it looks like users who plan to purchase the Ryzen 5000 series CPUs can leverage from even higher performance with higher spec DDR4 memory kits. The one slide is part of the AMD Ryzen 5000 series CPU NDA which is being shared with the press under a strict embargo. However, someone out there decided it was a good idea to leak it and give us a glimpse of what to expect when it comes to memory overclocking. The slide starts off with details that we already know and that's the three clock speeds beyond core frequencies which AMD des Ryzen desktop processors support. Just to recap, they are as follows. In the Infinity Fabric Clock, or the FCLK, that governs how quickly CPU cores can communicate across CPU dies with the SOC controllers, such as PCIe, SATA, and USB. Now the Memory Controller, or the UCLK, governs how quickly the Memory Controller can ingest and exgest commands from RAM. The Memory Clock, or MCLK, is the frequency of your main system memory. Now all three clocks are set to a 1 to 1 to 1 ratio and configured based on the memory speeds that the system is equipped with. For instance, if the memory features a speed of DDR4 3600 MHz, just like our test bench, then these clocks will be set at 1800 MHz for the FCLK, UCLK, and MCLK. Now we've seen the Renoir desktop APUs offer a 1 to 1 F clock ratio when it comes to memory and memory memory overclocking support and given us some spectacular numbers, but the standard for Ryzen desktop CPUs rely on a chiplet design rather than the Ryzen desktop APUs which feature a monolithic design with a vastly different chip hierarchy even though the underlying core is fundamentally the same. Now, According to AMD, the memory and fabric is the biggest return on investment for users who want to overclock and tweak their systems. In that regard, AMD is suggesting that DDR4 4000 MHz will be the sweet spot for AMD Ryzen 5000 series Zen 3 desktop CPUs, while DDR4 3800 MHz was a sweet spot for the Ryzen 7 or the Ryzen 3000 series CPUs on the Zen 2 desktop lineup. Now, users running DDR4 4000 kits can expect greater performance and even higher overclocking capabilities when running these Vermeer based CPUs. Now onto some graphics cards news for AMD, well it seems that my recent coverage of the RX 5000 series being eyed by miners may have been taken as a guideline rather than a warning. Now according to a report by my drivers, XFX is selling pretty much the entire stock of its AMD Radeon cards to GPU miners in China during the month of September. Now the return of GPU mining is something that gamers have been dreading to hear ever since the legendary price hikes created in cryptocurrencies in 2017 and 2018, which in some places still not have entirely recovered from. Now according to my drivers, XFX pretty much sold all of their allotments of the RX 5700 XT, 5600 XT, 5700s and even the RX 590, not even the 5000 series, to GPU miners during the month of September of 2020. Now this isn't a random month by the way, cryptocurrencies like Ethereum have surged in interest and rallied almost 100% during the last few months. As the price of these cryptocurrencies goes up, so does the interest in GPU mining, and cryptocurrencies are forecasted to give even higher returns in the coming year having finally recovered from the bear run that began with the 2018 crash, so if things get more lucrative for miners, the strain is going to start extending to other AIBs and even Nvidia GPUs. While this report isn't confirmed and XFX and AMD have not responded to com for comments on it, we wouldn't be surprised to find out that my drivers got the scoop correctly and this timing fits with cryptocurrencies gearing up in what appears to be another bull run. It might be a good idea to keep your daily drivers safe while you wait for confirmed availability of AMD Big Navi and Nvidia Ampere cards before selling for that upgrade. For more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.